On Sunday, July 26 of 2020, a landlord was allegedly beheaded by his own tenant with a samurai sword. It's mortifying to know what had allegedly happened to Victor King. Named Jerry Thompson is being held on two million dollars bond. He's accused of killing his roommate and landlord Victor King in their Hartford home with a samurai sword. Victor King was a retired landlord living in the city of Hartford, Connecticut. Prior to his retirement, he had worked at Travelers Insurance Company for over 20 years. He was also a nationally known bridge player and was described by the executive editor of the Bridge Bulletin as a top player from New England. King had retired from Travelers in 2018 to pursue playing bridge full-time. He had recently rented out a room in his home on a Salem Ave to a man named Jerry David Thompson. Not much time had passed before a conflict arose between King and Thompson. According to sources, the arguments between these two men had been over Thompson's non-payment of rent owed to King. Jerry David Thompson had only been a recent tenant of King before conflict arose. According to police, a day before King's body was found, he had reported Thompson for waving the blade of a samurai sword at him. On Sunday, July 26, concern had risen among King's friends. They were unable to reach him and alerted the authorities. Later that day, police forced their way into the home and discovered King's body. Police found King on the kitchen floor surrounded by blood. They also found a signed lease with Thompson and King's names. After finding King's body, police later found Thompson driving the city's north end. GPS locators on Thompson's phone placed him in Bloomfield in Farmington River Park. Hartford police recruits found a fabric sheath covering in the woods and found a samurai sword sheath not much further away. The Hartford Police Regional Dive Team found the sword in the water. Police found Thompson driving a vehicle on Bloomfield Avenue in Hartford where they arrested him. He refused to speak with investigators and wrote the words, paper and glove compartment in Jeep is all you need. When looking in the suspect's Jeep, they found paperwork suggesting that Thompson considered himself a sovereign citizen, meaning he sees himself not subject to the law. On Tuesday, July 28th, Thompson was arranged in Superior Court, where he continued not to speak. The judge ordered he be held on a $2 million bail. According to the recording in the State Department of Corrections, his next court appearance will be Tuesday, August 18th of 2020. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you will also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and Rent Tech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia, and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.